Hello today's video we have the following content. Among the four beauties in the Chinese Paladin series, who is more anti-aging? Liu Yifri, never won outside the drama, never lost inside the drama. Liu Yifri, Yang Mi, Liu Shishi and Tang Yan are all well-known actresses in the Chinese entertainment industry. They are collectively known as the four beauties of the Chinese Paladin series. They are loved by the audience for playing beautiful fairy roles in the Chinese Paladin series. In addition to their images in the drama, they have also attracted much attention in real life. Liu Yifei is the most special one among them. She has always been called Sister Fairy and has a very high popularity. Her body shape has become the focus of discussion outside. When Liu Yifei often participates in activities, her figure is often ridiculed and she is nicknamed Big Fat Y Head. Even her fans dare not claim how good her body management is, which makes Liu Yifei questioned and criticized. In the eyes of the outside world, Liu Yifei's image is very different from the fairy role, and some people even find it difficult to accept when they see her photos. Once Liu Yifei appears in a drama, her fans will unite and stand up to defend her reputation. Every frame of the screenshot can prove that her acting skills are extraordinary. Compared with Yang Mi's Tushin Hong Hong next door, she is not inferior to the other four beauties in Legend of Sword and Fairy. Yang Mi is considered a very beautiful actress outside the drama, but the three film and television dramas she starred in this year are all ugly in their own ways, which has also impacted her image. In contrast, Liu Shishi's appearance has remained stable. She has not appeared in ugly photos in or outside the drama for many years. Although her appearance is not amazing, it is very attractive. Tang Yan is well known for her silly and sweet image. In the Legend of Sword and Fairy series, she played the role of silly and sweet, and it is surprising that she can still successfully play silly and sweet at the age of 40 without being criticized. Tang Yan's existence proves a truth that actors do not have to transform, they can delve into a single role, and win success and awards with the image of innocent and brave dream chasing. The four beauties of Legend of Sword and Fairy have different styles, and each has their own characteristics and advantages. Although their body shapes outside the drama or their performances in other dramas may be controversial, they all won the love of the audience with their excellent acting skills in Legend of Sword and Fairy. This role is suitable for them to show their charm, and it made them the representative of young actresses at that time, and also won the support of a large number of loyal fans. Liu Yifri, Yang Mi, Liu Shishi and Tang Yan are all very good actresses, and they each have their own characteristics and highlights in and out of the drama. Although they may be criticized and controversial in real life, their acting talents are still recognized and loved by the majority of audiences. No matter what type of roles they choose, they are an indispensable and important presence in the Chinese film and television industry. Next news. Lin Yi praises Liu Yifri, the embodiment of beauty. Recently, when talking about his cooperation with Liu Yifri, young actor Lin Yi couldn't help but sigh that her beauty was like the embodiment of beauty, which was unforgettable. Liu Yifri, the actress known as the fairy sister, has long become the perfect image in the minds of countless people with her unique temperament and exquisite facial features. And in the process of working with her, Lin Yi deeply experienced her beauty and charm. Lin Yi said that Liu Yifri's beauty lies not only in her appearance, but also in her inner temperament and cultivation. Every movement and expression of hers is full of elegance and confidence, as if she has embodied beauty, making people unable to look away. This cooperation has given Lin Yi a deeper understanding of Liu Yifei's beauty. He frankly said that it is a great honor and happiness to be able to work with such an actor. At the same time, he also hopes that he can continue to learn and improve and become an excellent actor like Liu Yifei. Liu Yifei's beauty has gone beyond the simple scope of appearance and has become a symbol of art and spirit. Her beauty and charm will always remain in people's hearts. Next news. Liu Yifei could never have dreamed that Maggie Chung, the Yellow Rose 30 years ago, would be on the hot search again because of her. The story of Roses has been polarized since its release, and what is even more strange is that the closer it gets to the end, the characters in the whole play are like people made of dough with an indescribable sense of fragmentation. Even the characters of Wang Zhenhua and Bai Zio, who were the most favored by the audience when the show started, have become seriously out of touch with reality. It can be said that from the second half of the show, the plot is obviously trying to dissuade the audience. In fact, the reason why this show has been criticized since its launch is not only the plot and the characters, but also the main reason is that the leading actors are not convincing. First of all, the heroines first love Zhang Guadong, although Pen Guanin looks businesslike in a suit and tie, he looks frivolous and dissolute as soon as he appears, 
and is completely the image of a middle-aged man who is in love. I really don't know how Wang Yimei could be confused by such a slightly greasy man. Zhang Guidong. Looking back at the movie version of Rose's story more than 30 years ago, this version of Zhang Guidong is indeed very convincing. As soon as he appears, people can feel why Wang Migi is so obsessed with him. The movie version of Zhang Guidong is obviously more profound. In addition, the inferiority complex that the screenwriter forcibly added to Fang Zhuan, who made the audience hate him in the TV series, is obviously far-fetched. A 985 top student with outstanding appearance and excellent academic performance has nothing to be inferior to, and he is not asked to pursue a socialite who drives a luxury car and lives in a villa. On the contrary, Fang Zhuan in the movie version looks more ordinary than a passerby. He is such a scumbag, with no appearance and no ability. I am afraid no one will believe that such a person is not inferior when he appears. Rose's story. Although Lin Jenks in, who plays Fang Zhuan in the TV version, plays the role very successfully, I always feel that Lin Jenkson is much better than 90% of husbands in real life because he is dressed in a suit, can make money and take care of his family. So it is inevitable that there is a suspicion of labeling the characters in order to continue the drama. Finally, let's discuss the heroine Wang Yimi. Liu Yifei is very beautiful and has good acting skills, but I always feel that her love and marriage are very strange. In reality, Wang Yimei doesn't like Zhuang Guidong, who is sanctimonious and slightly greasy. Moreover, there is no intersection between art students and IT men. Naturally, it is impossible for her to marry Fang Zhuan, unless both of them are unmarried at an older age and meet in the blind date market for marriage. It is probably more convincing. However, after watching the old movie Rose's story 30 years ago, I feel that the movie version is indeed much more natural, and the marriage of Wang Migin and Fang Zhuan is more real than the TV version. Although Liu Yifei's appearance in the TV series has a filter, I always feel that the whole drama has a tea-like feeling from beginning to end. Most of the people who watch this idol drama are single, so they feel sorry for the mirror-like relationship between Wang Yimi and Zhang Guidong. Rose's story. In fact, many details of Zhang Guidong in the TV series show signs that he is even more unreliable than Fang Zhuan. If Wang Yimi really married him and had children, I am afraid that when she was pregnant for 10 months, Zhang Guidong would have been in love outside, and he would not be as stubborn as Fang Zhuan to revolve around his wife. However, it is precisely because of so many brainless and bizarre settings in the TV series that many people are more curious about the movie version of Rose's story. So when seeing the appearance of Wang Migi in the movie, many people said, it is worthy of the author's own designated Wang Migi. It really feels like the rose in the book. It doesn't need to say lines to make people feel that it is indeed a rose. Maggie Chung. After watching the more literary film version of the story of Rose, we do feel that Liu Yifei is playing Yellow Rose, but Maggie Chung is completely possessed by Yellow Rose. From head to toe, we can feel that the spiritual woman is really born for love. Especially after Yellow Rose divorced and returned to China, although the filming technology 30 years ago was not as good as it is now, the charming Yellow Rose did perform the same aura as the sister-in-law in The Furious, and it is no wonder that so many men are willing to go for her. Maggie Chung. After watching Maggie Chung's version of Yellow Rose, I finally understand why Liu Yifei's hard work has led to frequent searches for the movie 30 years ago. This is probably because most people think that Maggie Chung, who is as graceful as Audrey Hepburn and exudes nobleness in every frown and smile, is the Yellow Rose in the hearts of the audience. Thank you for watching the video, please leave your opinion in the comments section. Don't forget to press the channel subscription button. If this is the first time you watch a video on the channel, 